Hello, welcome back to the second part in this tutorial series for a shopping cart in PHP and MySQL. So, if we go back over to our PHP, or our text editor, and just clear out this page. Right, first of all, I'm going to create the basic... Oh, God, I've messed this up. So, HTML, head. And we're going to just import the styles, so um, copy that line and paste it below. I might add some JavaScript and stuff afterwards afterwards to make it more interactive and maybe Ajax and stuff like that but for now we're just going to keep it basic and leave it as it is we need to add a title and that will be shopping now it's maybe worth pointing out that this is not massively advanced but it's not going to be easy for somebody who doesn't know the basics of PHP um, so if you don't know the basics, I recommend you either go to see uh, PHP Academy on the on YouTube or phpacademy.info for his forums, and there you can learn all the basics of PHP. Um, if you don't feel like learning it there, then there's also um, the PHP uh, website, php.net, and there's also w3schools.com which you can what, uh, learn how to code in PHP and what it all is. So I'd recommend you um, go to them before you watch this video. Um, so yeah, with that done, let's get on to carrying on with this. Container. And in there we've got a div ID is main. A div ID sidebar. Oh, missed the space um, equals there. A div ID. Oh, no, that's all the ones we need for now, I think, actually. Yeah, that's all we need for now. Now, you may think that looks really basic, but that's because all of this is HTML and is basic. So, if we save that, we can save that, or go out of the CSS directory. And this is index.php. Now make sure that you save it as .php, otherwise it won't work well. Well, it won't work at all actually. Um, and go across and create a new CSS file. And here is where we're going to start coding some basic CSS. So, first of all, we're going to do body, font family. Um, font size, and we'll make that, I think, 12 pixels, and colour, colour is a nice sort of, uh, nice colour, not too sharp anyway, so it's not black, but it's a nice little colour. Set the width of the container to 700 pixels, margin 150 pixels. Right, I'm sorry if, if any of my um, closing brackets or zeros don't work. The key on my um, keyboard isn't working that well, and I need to buy myself a new one sometime. So um, I apologise for any that I miss out, and if you see that I miss one out, um, I've it in the comment section below, or just keep it to yourself and make sure you fix it for yourself. Overflow hidden. Now make sure that you put overflow as hidden because otherwise it will look terrible. And basically all of this is pointless if the overflow is not hidden because if something goes over it, then there's no point in styling. You'll understand what I mean later on, maybe. If not, then just don't worry about it. Just make sure that you 
have it there. Sorry, but I either have to type or talk, really, because, well, I think it's true what they say that guys can't multitask, or, well, at least I definitely can't, anyway. So, that's now that's the basic of the CSS done, I think I'll go through and explain it. Now, the body, which is a tag, uh, uh, code, there you go, um, that's linking it to this, so the body there. And when you go through and you look at the hash container, well, America, it's the pound container, I think, then that is the div ID. Now, for those of you that don't know CSS well, um, I'll, I'll just do a comment block on this. You don't need to copy this out, by the way. Right, so the pound or the hash is the um, defines an ID, and a period or a full stop or a dot defines a class. And so basically, if I had div class, if I had div I would basically call that in CSS by using dot hello and that would define the class so it looks for a class and it sees the class there looks for the word hello sees the word hello and it recognizes that that is what needs to be changed so that's just a very quick summary of a bit of CSS um, so if you need if you don't know that write it down or at least remember it because it will be very helpful so in designing and something you should know is a um, ID is very different from a class. ID will appear only once on a page. A class can appear multiple times. So that's something which you should remember, which is good practice in CSS. Um, so just save this file in the CSS directory and save it as style.css. We will go back and we will edit that file. But for now, that has got the basics of how we need it. If we go across and we view this, it's tutorials, carts, and as you can see at the moment all we've got is this, as we've got new content in the middle. But as you can see it's given us a nice background colour and let's just go through and add. Hello and world. Save that, go over here, refresh, and you can see it's aligned it to the two different sides of the sort of the page. So you can see that the styling's worked and it's going to be nice hopefully. And I think we can make this 550. Let's see how that looks. Mm. And I think I just noticed an error. Side bar, and I've only put a side. There you go. That's one error. And you may have also noticed I just quickly added in a zero there, because that was another mistake on my half. Um, let's just check all the zeros. So that's that one there. Yes, yes. Right, they all seem to be right. If anything looks wrong later, I'll go back and change it, and I'll also alert you that I've changed it. So for now this looks alright and thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Next tutorial will be on creating the database. So thanks for watching and um, I'll see you soon.